Lisbon, Portugal really is a superb travel photo destination. Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. And in this video I'm gonna share my opinion on the Ricoh GR3 and 3X as a travel camera. In some of my previous videos I've said that these two cameras together or one of these would be a perfect uh, travel camera. But the uh, truth is that I've never used, before this trip, I've never used these as a travel camera. So in this video I'm gonna share something based on some opinion, based on real world travel photography. But before I start talking about these Ricoh cameras, I've been checking out some fellow travelers and their cameras and it looks like uh, most people who still shoot with real camera, not their phones, uh, they are still using some uh, entry-level Canon or Nikon DSLR with some kind of a zoom lens. And my guess is that those DSLR users are gonna use their DSLR until it doesn't work anymore and then they may buy another camera, a mirrorless camera, but they may as well just start using their phone camera. So no wonder that camera sales are down. But anyway, back to these Ricohs. In my travel gear video I showed you my camera back, but I actually decided to leave the back home because I thought, you know, these will nicely fit into my pockets and the bag would just be, you know, one extra unnecessary thing to carry around. One of the best things I like about the GR is the really super tiny size and the discreet appearance. This simple matte black exterior really makes this camera look like some cheapo point and shoot and it really doesn't uh, draw any attention to itself, which is great in a busy city like Lisbon, Portugal. And here are some pictures that I've shot on both GRs here in Lisbon. Please enjoy. extremely compact size of this camera makes it really uh, comfortable to carry in one hand all day long just like this and whenever I see a photo moment coming up I just turn on the camera take the picture turn off the camera and if I have both cameras with me the other one is in my pocket like so Sometimes in really bright light like now the screen is a little bit too dim and I wish I had some sort of external viewfinder. I can of course brighten the screen uh, a little bit for outside photography but still the, it's not optimal for bright conditions like this. But most of the time I haven't had much trouble uh, with the screen. One of the things that people complain a lot with these Ricoh GRs is the battery life. But I gotta tell you that it's not been any kind of a problem with me during this trip. Now it's already afternoon, I've been shooting like half a day, I still have a full battery. I turn the camera on whenever I need to take a picture, like so, take a picture, turn the camera off and it, the battery seems to last easily one full day of shooting.
I've said it many times already in this video how handy it is to put the camera in my pocket. But next time I travel with these Ricoh cameras, I think I'm going to bring some sort of a bag, a small bag for these cameras because it seems that uh, whenever the cameras are in my pocket, they seem to collect a little bit too much dust on them or some sort of lint or something. And I'm afraid a part of that dust or lint may end up on the sensor. So far, I haven't seen any, but um, I've heard a lot of stories and I think it's possible that some of the dust may end up on the sensor. So I think uh, some sort of a small bag is still a, a good idea and here's another set of pictures i've shot on both of these cameras please enjoy And would I like to carry another camera, a system camera with many lenses and a full system with me on a trip like this? No way. These GRs have some shortcomings like every camera, but they are really, really a super good compromise for my photography. When I have a simple camera like this, only one camera, I don't need even both of these. It makes me think less of my camera and more of my photography, which is very, very important, at least for me. So less is definitely more and simple is better for me. And now you may want to ask which one of these is my favorite. I don't really have a favorite, but on this trip, it looks like I've shot a lot more on the GR3X and it looks like the 40 millimeter equivalent angle of view is kind of better for me, at least on a trip like this. So there you have it, my user experience with the Ricoh GR3 and 3X as a travel camera. I hope this was helpful, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again in the next one.